Oh yeah, we saw um, some teamworks things that have been released because um, oh we unlocked them. Right here we go. Uh, Ho and uh, Pip. Under a seaside pier in the cold dark of night, Angel searches the area, knee deep in the murky grey water. Suddenly, Pip Wibble cannonballs into the water nearby. She splashes Echo in the quiet dark. She resurfaces and takes a bow. What the hell are you doing here, kid? Kid? My real ID and all my fake IDs are of the age of majority. I'm a full grown adult. So, this is a maximum. your maximum height? Wow, harsh. Who needs height when you've got speed like this? Pip demonstrates her speed by rapidly karate chopping the air. She smacks herself in the cheek with her thumb midway through, <laughs> midway through, but is able to recover. I see you've been training. Respect. Still, I gotta ask once more. Why are you here? Like, really? Have you been following me? I'm investigating crime, of course. I've been tracking spots of a secret, sacred object that has that was pilfered and stashed away. You're tracking the sacred matriarchal hog of Epping Forest? Bless you, I've said too much. How did you find me out? Because that's why I'm here. I'm going to need you to scram. I know this isn't your day job. You're not even getting paid to be here. Just as his own reward. So you're contaminating the crime scene and devaluing labour? Unbelievable. Listen, you gotta get out of here. The object is cursed. This ain't in your jurisdiction. And an actual legit paying client hired me for specific expertise on the subject. Now, run along. Well, I hired myself for my specific expertise because the object is Herbie Hedgehog. What? No, the relic. The object is a relic. It's a small statue of a spiny forest god that is said to grant impossible speed. Exactly, the man has been clearly disguised as Herbie Hedgehog from the wildly beloved Herbie the Herbivorous Hedgehog comics. Oh god. <gasps> I guess that disguise explains why it's been so hard to find. Sounds like you need the aid of the problem solving hedgehog enthusiast, me! Pip, it's literally a superpower endowing mega weapon. This is not a job for Pip. Pep, Skipple, Teen Cop, or whatever it is they call you. <laughs> Suddenly Pip gasps and stares over a Angel's shoulder. She dashes through the water to the shore and picks up a bright pink wool thread. A clue! This thread is the exact shade and thickness of the hair of the head of Herbie Hedgehog. We must be close. Good eye, short stack. Uh, maybe I was a little too hasty. Maybe teaming up with me isn't such a bad idea. You're too late. I've already decided that we are a team and we're going to find this relic together. Don't get ahead of yourself. I've searched four other locations and can't empty. Now let's see if my vibe seeking drow dowsing rod can sniff out any cursed objects in the area. Till the rune carved Y shapes stick out of her pack and point and set around the beach searching for the cursed vibes. Nothing happens. Well, I'm not getting any readings of my curse finding drowsing rod. Perhaps this is another dead end. Or oh, the relic isn't cursed. Can your rod find blessed objects? What the hell can a Dorcas god would keep their blessings inside a hedgehog doll? Have a little dignity, jeez. Toys are sometimes the beloved objects in the world. I say harnessing that kind of power is a smart idea if enormously Dorcas. And it turns down as a vibe seeking drowsing rod, getting from cursed to blurst. Blurst and then blessed. She points in all directions and it begins to vibrate, leading the east. Pip digs through the sand. Moments later, she pops up out of the sandy hole she created with an adorable hedgehog toy. The quickly snatches the from her hands. Nice, the sacred my jungle hog of Epping Forest. All in my own day's work. I gotta say, I'm pretty tempted by this whole impossible speed thing. Why don't I take a look at the Epping Hog? You are not bestowing yourself with godlike abilities on my watch, kid. Come on, not even a little bit of godlike abilities? Well, that depends. Are you paying? Because I already have a buyer for this thing. 
You didn't give me a give some random person my godlike abilities. Really? First of all, the last thing the world needs is hyperspeed Pipwickle. <laughs> I don't know, I think that would be quite hot. <laughs> Second of all, the buyer isn't random. I know her. We've done a few deals. Or finally, she doesn't even want the super speed for herself. She says she's going to destroy the hedgehog's cursed power and tether its creator to the never-ending dark in a binding ceremony. Done. The end. But it's not cursed. It's blessed. So wouldn't destroying it be an evil thing to do? Doesn't that make your client evil? Listen up, kid. You've got a lot to learn. The difference between good and evil is their colour scheme. I've been first-hand fucked by the heavens. I should know. Hmm. However, this does bear further investigation. Did you say investigation? Pip makes a giant adorable puppy eyes at Angel. Alright, alright. Tag along. It'll be educational. You can even hold the mother epping hedgehog. Yay, this is the best day ever! Now that was adorable. <laughs> if quite weird.